What's up, freaks? Steve says, episode number 60. Holy crap, number 60. You're up on the second screen. If you have any questions, comments, want to tell me to go fuck off, go ahead, put them in the comments. I'm used to it. Get in line. Making sure our sound check is good. Last week we started two or three minutes in, realized there was no sound. And we are good. We are good. Sound check is good. All right. So this is Steve says episode number 60. Basically, you see in the, in the headline, are you stuck in place in your life spinning in circles like a hamster on a freaking, freaking wheel? You know, and Steve says some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fire every second of every second. Today, it's all about do you feel trapped in your own life or are, are you not sure what your next move should be in life? And where should you go from here? Steve says, episode 60, Steve says it's a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, and your finances so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and live life on your own freaking terms. Let's do this. So this week, as you see up in the the headline, give you a second to hop in there, but get a quick sip of the Herbalife drink. So you see what it says there. Are you stuck in place in your life, spinning in freaking circles like a hamster on a wheel? Do you feel trapped? Are you not sure what move you should make next or where to go from here? What should you do next? You know, a couple weeks ago, we talked about trying and how to try is to fail. And instead, don't try, just do. So don't fear failure. Because you only fail if you quit. We talked about this before, about trying and failing and learning from your mistakes and moving forward and grinding it out. So like like most things, you're probably your own worst enemy. And you, you are what's holding yourself back. Nothing else. None of those other excuses. None of that other bullshit out there. You know, you're you're in this place right now, right? You're, You're stuck in this place, but you think it's okay. You're settling for it. You're happy with it even. Or you think you're fucking happy with it, but you're really not. But, you know, you have this warm, little smiley, little happy, fuzzy little feeling. You, you, you know, you're where you are and you don't mind it. It's okay. But you know what it is? You're really freaking miserable and probably just living average, living well below your potential where you should be way the hell up here. You know why? Because you are in your own fucking comfort zone. You're in your comfort zone. Comfort. What is comfort? Comfort or comfortable, however you want to talk about it. What is it? Are you comfortable? Answer that question. Put it in the comments. Let me know if you're comfortable. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? You hear it all the time. People, oh, I just want to be comfortable. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm living comfortable right now. I just want a comfortable life. I just want to feel comfortable. What? The, first of all, first of all, what the fuck is comfort and comfortable even mean? What does it even mean when someone says, oh, I just want to, I just want to live comfortable? What does it mean? So here's what comfort or comfortable or however the hell you want to word it means basically is a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. So just listen to these, listen to these closely, or it means to soothe or console or reassure, bring cheer to, or it's a, a state of ease and satisfaction with freedom from pain and anxiety. Think, listen to this stuff. So When you say, oh, I'm living comfortable right now. Oh, I'm comfortable. No, I'm okay being just comfortable. A state of ease and satisfaction with freedom from pain and anxiety. Or a cause or matter of relief or satisfaction. Other words that could be thought of as being uh, whatever, the same as comfortable are contentment or convenience or luxury or pleasant, relaxation, enjoyment, well-being, relieved, satisfied, happy, adequate, pleased, or appropriate. So think of those definitions. So are you really comfortable? Think about it. Are you comfortable? Are you really comfortable? Yes, you only grow outside your comfort zone. That's exactly where we're getting to. Because even though people say all the time, I want to be comfortable, and listen to those definitions of comfortable, they're really not, not too bad. A state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. So why wouldn't you want to be comfortable? You know, you want to be comfortable, right? Sounds sounds okay. Sounds decent. Or a state of ease and satisfaction of bodily wants from freedom or from pain and anxiety. That sounds good. Why wouldn't you want to be comfortable? 
So when someone says, oh, I'm comfortable, anyone who's ever said they were comfortable was none of these fucking things that I'm saying here. Anyone that's ever said, oh, yeah, I'm comfortable. I just want to be comfortable. They, they, weren't, they weren't content. They weren't having a life of convenience or living in luxury or they didn't have a pleasant life or a relaxing life and barely enjoyed life or had any sense of well-being. They weren't relieved. They were always fucking stressed. They're comfortable, comfortable, comfortable is fucking average, really, when it comes down to it. Satisfying, happy, adequate, pleased, appropriate. Anyone out there, any of you that say, I just want to be comfortable. Oh, I'm just living comfortable. Oh, we're comfortable. It's just, it's not even that. Those people are not pleased. They're not adequate. They're not satisfied. They're certainly not relaxing because they're always stressing, full of anxiety. So if, if comfort is a state of ease or satisfaction, freedom from pain and anxiety, then most of the people that say they're comfortable or want to be or whatever, they are not freaking comfortable. But let's, let's take it even further. Think about it. So are you really even comfortable? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable with your weight and your health and your fitness? Are you? Think about the definitions. Relaxing, satisfied, contentment, convenience, freedom from pain and anxiety, a state of ease. So think about those things. Are you that when it comes to your health, your fitness and your weight? Are you comfortable with the way you look? Are you at ease and content with everything about the way you look? Are you comfortable with your career? Comfortable with your finances? Comfortable with your family? Are you? Are you comfortable with your finances? Is it enjoyment? Are you satisfied? Is it adequate? Are you pleased? Is it? Are you comfortable with that? With your, with your career? With your finances? With your family? Are you comfortable with your life so far at this point? Are you? Are you? Put it in there. Let me know. Talk about it. So do do you think you will get any of those things I just mentioned? Do you think comfort is going to get you any of those? Do you think comfort is going to get you into that state that you want to be with your health and your fitness and your weight? Do you think comfort is going to get you to look the way you want to look? Do you think comfort is going to get you the career and the level of career and success you want? Do you think comfort is is going to give you the level of finances that you want or give you the family that you want? Or that, or the type of structure that you want. You think it's gonna give you comfort? It's gonna give you the fucking life you want. I hate to tell you, but that shit ain't gonna happen. So you, you're probably not even comfortable. And even if you were, even if you were, the things that we just stated of what comfort and comfortable is. Even if you were comfortable, which most people that say they're comfortable are fucking not any of the things I just listed. But just say, even if they were, if they were all those things we just listed about about pleasant and relax, relaxation, enjoyment, and, and satisfied, and adequate, and pleased. Just say you were those things. Adequate, satisfied, relaxing, pleased. Is that what you want to think about when you're talking about your health and your fitness, and your weight, and your finances, and your family, and your career? Satisfied and adequate? Is that where you want to live? Adequate? Basically borderline fucking average? Is that where you want to be? On a line of average? Hell no. So don't think any, any, any of those things are going to happen in, in your comfort, comfort zone and in the world of being freaking comfortable. It just shit, shit ain't going to happen. So you, we'll get, actually get you none of those. You're, you're probably not even comfortable. And even if you were, that shit should not be good enough. It shouldn't be good enough. Adequate should not be good enough for you. Relaxation? Come on. Contentment? Contentment is, is, is death. You're content on your deathbed. That's when you're freaking content. Because... You know, you need to put yourself out there. Take some fucking risks and don't be a little bitch. As we say in the top of this this show every time. Don't be a little bitch. Take some risks. What is a risk? A risk is an exposure to an injury or a loss. A chance. No, no. Exposure to the chance of an injury or a loss. Or a hazard or a dangerous chance. It's just exposure to a chance of. That's all a risk is. Exposure to the chance of. But of, of danger. But guess what? In the definition of it is also it could be ex- exposure to the chance of injury or loss or danger, but also of opportunity or exposure or possibility. Not just have to, has to be something hazardous or uncertain. It's also exposure to the chance of freaking opportunity, of exposure to the chance of, of fucking happiness and freedom and success. How about that? That's what risk is going to take you. Comfort is not. It, you know, you, you sit there and you think, it's, it's just too high risk. It's just too risky for me. It's, it's way too risky. I'm just comfortable right where I am. Blah, motherfucking blah. Stop being a little bitch. Aren't, aren't your goals, 
aren't your goals and your dreams and your vision worth taking a freaking risk? Isn't your family and your grandkids and your future grandkids that aren't even freaking born, isn't that worth a risk to you? Aren't you worth the fucking risk to come out of that level of comfort and adequate and just enough and bare fucking minimum? Aren't you above that level? Isn't it time to take your shit above that level of comfort, of borderline bullshit, of an excuse to not do more and not to step up your freaking game? Most people just want to be comfortable. They're just, they, and they are probably comfortable being comfortable, they think, but they're not even close to it. They're not close to it. And anyway, why would you want to be it? Fuck comfortable. Fuck comfortable. Why would you want to settle for that? For adequate, borderline, average, normal. That's the bare freaking minimum. Why would you want to settle for that? The good thing is you can always make the decision to change that. And immediately, like this second, this fucking second that we're talking, you can make that decision to stop being comfortable. Stop being just adequate. Stop doing the bare motherfucking minimum. Step your game up. Get your shit together. Never settle. Don't settle, you know, even after achieving your goals. Whatever high goals you say you have and you get there, don't even settle for that shit. Each goal you reach is just the starting point to get to your next goal. Each ending is a freaking beginning to the next goal. That's the way you need to start thinking about it. Success is on the other side of that bullshit comfort zone you're talking about. Get, getting in shape, losing weight, reaching your goals, getting that promotion at work, increasing your finances, building a family, creating your future, living your life. None of that shit will come in comfort, in the comfort zone, being comfortable sitting on your ass on a fucking couch watching Netflix comfortable. None of that shit's going to happen. Do it in the comfort zone. You need to be uncomfortable to make shit happen and because the magic is going to happen outside of that level of comfort. That's where the fucking magic is going to happen. That's where 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 all the success is going to happen. Comfort is failure. Uncomfortable is how you get the job done, reach your freaking goals, and accomplish the fucking mission. That's what it's about. Take the risk. Stop being a little bitch because success is on the other side of the freaking train tracks from comfort. Fuck comfort. comfort. Strive for uncomfortable. Look for uncomfortable. Search for it. Find it. Seek it. Go out there and look for things that are going to make you uncomfortable. Because you know what? That's going to propel you forward. That's going to make you better. It's going to force you to step up your game. Instead of just being afraid to take a risk. Go take a risk. Forget comfortable. Strive for uncomfortable. No excuses.